hi beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl stacy and today i am back with another video yeah today i'm going to speak all the tea okay guys it's not a clickbait i know last time i made a video you guys were mad at me but yeah i actually gave a message though so today i just want to welcome everyone who joined this family if you are new to this family please consider subscribing if you just got my video by mistake, it wasn't a mistake. God sent it to you. So receive it, my daughter. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel. I am begging you in the name of God. And also like and share this video to anyone who wants to get the idea or the information which I'm giving to this, um, I'll be giving in this video. So today, I am going to tell you guys my liposuction experience in China. I'm not going to give you the definition of it, but it's something like from the name it says it says liposuction. It means you suck something from something, right? So that's the that that's it. if I just go online and do the research, I'm not here to give those definition. I'll give you a little disclaimer. First, I am not a doctor. I am not your mother, not your sister, not your pastor, your husband, your wife. To influence you in any way to do whatever you are not ready to do i'm here to make a video to share it to anyone who wants to receive the message and also i've been hearing choo 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 around people thinking oh she's wearing fake but oh she did this oh she did that no let me let me just give you all the the the, the, the tea ones and i'm not those people who will be lying that oh no it's one of the waist trainers that are so tight that's why my waist is so snatch no i'm not the person I will tell you the tea and also another disclaimer last time i made a video guys and i was trying to show you guys how you can enhance your your shape by wearing a butt pad which everyone is doing something in one way or the other but guys most of you took it especially <laughs> let me not say it but then most of you whom i think you guys are hypocrites you took it you made choo 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 about it. You made it to look like as if I don't I don't like myself or I don't um oh she's oh no wonder she's insecure. That's why she's trying to be perfect and all of that, making slants everywhere. And each time I'm each time so I even saw it so one day I was in a group chat. I heard one person who is, who is a woman who said, Oh, you know, now that it's easy for us to buy, you know, we, we, we too will go and buy our own bot since everyone can buy a bot, you know. <laughs> I just saw that comment and I laughed. Few days ago, I realized the company of that people that are also buying those padded bots and they're using it. Today, you guys are still in this video to get a tea about liposuction. My sister and brothers. My brethren and my sister and my brethren and my sisters. Welcome to the new me, okay? I'm 30 years old. First, I have a son. I'm a mother. My body has changed in several ways. The fact that I'm telling you guys what I did on my body, it doesn't mean I'm insecure or I was I didn't like myself the way I used to be. I love myself, but if I can have I have the money to enhance my beauty in every way I can. I will do it. It's not about you. I'm not doing it for who? You. No, doing it for a man. Some of you do things because you want to impress people. No, it's not me. You guys already know. People bully me a lot. You guys bully me a lot. But then, I still who? I remain Stacey Ben. So, I'm not here to actually call you guys out. But then, since I influence you guys to do things, start looking for your money. Because the lipo is giving too. It's giving, yeah? It's giving... <laughs> don't go and die yo. i already said it all <laughs> don't go and die yo. all right so guys enough of all of these so let's get on the go I, I got my doctor from a friend who is also a client here <sighs> who always comes to do her hair she actually did the liposuction which she also got the, the information from another girl blah blah in short the long story short so i got my uh, she gave me the witch out of the the doctor my doctor is not a regular man you guys always talk about in Guangzhou, who is also in Shanghai. No, it's another totally different person, which I'll be talking about it. I'll, I'll, I'll give the information pretty soon. So I got my doctor. We made an appointment. Actually, we paid. Anyways, any the amount, I'm not going to talk about the amount. When you, if you want, you go ask it for yourself. Yeah. So I paid for, um, usually when you get the, 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 when you get the doctor, you will set a date and also you will set, you will pay a deposit. You have to pay 50% of the amount, which 
was required to do this liposuction so for me i paid 50 percent of the amount and i also took a date um which was convenient for me so usually from research before i did that i actually took my time i did a lot of research guys i did a lot of research and yes from what i saw before <laughs> before my liposuction everything was perfect no it's just fat you take fat from your stomach and all of that everything was perfect and all of that yeah so i was looking for pictures of those who have done before and after before and after i could see some little some differences and all of that let me first of all tell you guys it's not going to show it's not going to be drastically different like you wouldn't look like Mwah! immediately when you get it it takes time to see the result so i'm actually on my second month um and some few days right now but i can see that i already have a nice looking you know i'm already seeing things going on yeah you guys have been seeing me on instagram right I've, I'm, I'm already looking uh, snatch you know just imagine you know from all information it shows that six months later you'll get the perfect result and one year later you get the ex you get and you get the thing you have been looking for you know so for me i already had my butt and also had my uh, my little hips but it's just that because i gave birth to my son i had um i had some fat which which couldn't go that's just why i actually took away that thing I've, i'm doing i'm i'm that person who eat well i drink enough water i take my supplements yes i cannot say i sleep well yeah because i work a lot i cannot say i make my own meals no i buy each time i make my own meal i don't make meal by myself but i make sure i eat what i eat healthy things actually so yeah so let me take you guys to the actual day of the process so that you know exactly how you feel when you get to the theater and everything so when you, when i went there actually the, the city where i went was nimbo nimbo is a city in shang in just like two hours away from shanghai so i took my train in the morning i didn't miss the train guys i took the train in the morning i went there first of all you go to the hospital they will do all the tests you can imagine on it do your coronavirus test they do all your blood tests to make sure first your heart is stable you don't have any illness that will cause you problems in future everything about your health like everything they will just scan you not scan actually they take blood and everything do everything for you they'll do everything so after you get the, they get the result actually we got the result like three hours later when i went to the the clinic we already in the clinic they already get you have a room for yourself and a bathroom for yourself it's like a hotel room you know kind of thing you can order food everything will come though in fact they already have everything easy for you it's easy for you to call a doctor you just press it just like a hospital i mean like a modern hospital you call the doctor they come whatever you want they'll get it for you and all of that so yeah it was easy so it's time time for me to go to the theater i had to be naked they gave us a garment they gave they gave me a garment which i'm going to wear since i was already thick 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 my the garment couldn't fit but anyway i managed to wear whatever i had so i went to the, the theater they will take they will tell you to take off every cloth you have you were already you were naked and they will take your before and after video uh, if i have i'll try to insert everything on the screen so that you guys will see what is going what happened that day so they'll do they'll take away they'll take the before they gave me the anesthesia whatever they do they will put it behind your back they will pierce it behind your back and give you the thing it will make your body to be numb you know it's not like you will die you'll be up looking at the procedure going and then they will do everything this is how they actually do it they scrub your skin as it's scrubbing your skin they will take out the fat you'll be hearing <laughs> something like that that's what you'll be hearing but then i wasn't up to see that because i was already i mean i'm <laughs> once i see the bed i'm gone guys i don't know if it's because of the anesthesia that made me sleep i slept up but i only woke up when everything was finished so i woke, I woke up when they started trying to wear my garment and then yeah so that's pretty how the procedures the procedure goes on so you will be numb until maybe after the procedure you will start feeling a little pain okay i woke up because the the numbness the numbness um, reduced and then i started feeling like something is actually happening in my body you know 
and of, of course that was the end so they gave me i took they took out about two liters of fat or two point something about 10 liters you have blood water and fat you just see the difference from your from the container where they use it and also um another thing what am i forgetting yeah you have to eat maybe the next day and then they'll give you drip a lot of drip to give you i don't know what's in the drip maybe to calm down the pain a few hours later i started feeling pain you know the pain that comes like you know when you burn yourself with water and then it you mistakenly peel your skin you know how you used to feel that's how you feel all over your stomach it's not like you're it's painful it's just burning those burning pains you know burn it's not painful as in you break your feet and you have those pain you just have those burning sensation going on around your skin and then they tie you you need to tie it uh, from the other videos I watch on YouTube, it shows that they have to drain some water. But it shows that in China, the way they do it, they don't drain any water. Everything was already drained during the procedure. Now it's just it's just left for you, for you to to always compress yourself and all of that. For the compression garment, you buy it by yourself. You don't they, you buy it by yourself. They don't provide it in the hospital. The only thing they provide is your house, your where you are going to sleep, and the medications. That's all. So. Two days, I had to stay there. Maybe I came like, for example, I came yesterday. I stayed there today. And then the next day in the evening, I had to go back home. So it was just easy. And I went there by myself. So it was easy for me, maybe because I was healthy and strong and I could do it by myself. But maybe if you have a friend or a brother or sister or husband who might want to follow you just to go help you maybe with things. It wasn't easy to wake up on the bed and pee the first day, you know. You have to, you, you will be struggling and all of that. But if you are a strong woman like me, I think you can, you can do it. Uh -huh now. Uh -huh now, you can do it. So guys, yeah, so these are the, this, are, this is what happened from, I mean, this is a video which uh, I, I, I don't want to talk too much about it in one video. So I will be making details based on what you guys will be requiring on the set, on the comments, in the comment section below. So whatever you guys will be asking me in the comment section below is what I'll be making a video based on it. So since I did the procedure, it's been two months and some days. So maybe the next video will be my two months post up how I look before and after. And then I'll tell you guys everything, every other thing. If you want to see that video, also let me know in the comment section below and I'll answer that for you. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.